everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Tanner Watt. I'm a Municipal Program Specialist with Local Authority Services. Uh, we'll be hearing today from Athletica Sport Systems, one of the vendors available to supply arena products under the LES Municipal Group Buying Program. Uh, we launched this program about a year and a half ago to help municipalities save time and money uh, on the things that they use every day to keep their communities running. I'm joined today by Andrew McRae, CEO of Athletica, Reed Hart, Director of Sales, and also by Tim Elms, who's the Northern Ontario rep for LAS uh, with this program. A couple of housekeeping notes first, we're gonna be using the Q&A function built into Zoom. There'll be a Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Click on that, feel free to type in a question at any time through the presentation. Uh, we'll be answering those at the end. We are recording this webinar as well, and we'll be sending out a link to the video archive uh, in the next day or two uh, to share with any staff who weren't able to join today. So with that, we will hand it off to Athletica. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Tanner and Tim. Uh, Reed and I are both uh, glad to be, uh, be here uh, presenting today. Um, as uh, Tanner indicated, um, there will be a copy of this presentation that we will send around. Uh, it includes a uh, contact link uh, back to Reed Hart at the end, Reed being our Director of Sales uh, for Athletica and myself as uh, Chief, Chief Executive uh, Officer. So with that, let's uh, let's just kind of jump into, you know, who is Athletica? What do we do? Well, we're the trusted partners for sport infrastructure and premium dashboard, arena seating, gym equipment, sport flooring, aftermarket products and services and much more related to your indoor ice arenas. And so uh, Athletica as a business has evolved over time. Our brand promise is safety through innovation. So every safety feature that we've developed has been in response to a, a market need. Uh, we're the preferred equipment supplier to the National Hockey League. Uh, we are in 32 of 32 rinks. And when I say 32, Seattle's coming on stream very, very quickly here. Uh, as well, we also uh, have a, a fair, uh, fair number of installs in the uh, American Hockey League uh, market as well. Uh, and uh, any elite or professional tier hockey, that's typically where you're going to see Athletica and the Christoplex uh, product offering. We've also brought uh, two other businesses uh, into the portfolio, uh, one being Becker Arena Products. Becker is a very strong in the, um, in the community arena segment. So again, very strong in the municipal uh, and, and the private rink space. So these facilities are the ones that you tend to see in your neighborhoods uh, where you have local uh, youth hockey uh, and, uh, and a lot of development arenas as far as uh, ice skating, figure skating, some of the others. Uh, Cascadia is a Western uh, Canadian uh, business uh, that we added uh, in the last uh, year and a half. Uh, Cascadia, again, is very strong in the indoor ice rinks, as well as kind of the gymnasium and other uh, uh, municipal sport infrastructure. So, again, we uh, we can cover uh, pretty much the full gambit, any any uh, 20,000 seat uh, arena, which we use for multi-use, uh, ice, uh, ice events, uh, concert events, and all the conversion products that go with them. Uh, right down to the uh, to the municipal outdoor rinks that come up seasonally uh, through the winter months. So Athletica, safety through innovation. Becker, again, that reliability by design, very strong, reliable products. And then Cascadia is a custom sports solutions provider. And when we put the three businesses together, innovative design solutions is what we're all about. So when we look at uh, when we look at North America, we've got offices in in the clusters of, of indoor ice rinks. Uh, there's 3,500 indoor ice rinks in Canada. Uh, 1,500 of those are in the uh, Ontario space. So we're strategically located here in Waterloo, Ontario. That's where both Reed and myself are uh, domiciled. Uh, we also have a, a presence in in Metro Vancouver. Uh, which is the Port Moody, BC location. That's where uh, Cascadia is. And our um, US facility is located in the southwest corner of the Minneapolis-St. Paul Metroplex in Shakopee, Minnesota. And so 
If you look at the uh, the U.S., uh, there's 1,800 indoor ice rinks, and somewhere around 900 of those are located in the state of Minnesota. So as I say, we're strategically located where our client bases are, and we have a local office and presence to serve the market. So what do we offer? Well, if you can see in the photograph uh, off to the side, we can supply products pretty much in every uh, component there from the dasher boards, uh, which, uh, which keep the, the puck on the ice side and the spectators on the spectator side. Above the top sill or the cap plate, the, uh, the shielding, whether that be acrylic or tempered glass, uh, the protective netting that tends to go in the ends and radius uh, it can either be a fixed uh, protective net or for the multi-use facilities, we, uh, we've engineered uh, retractable systems as well. Uh, as ancillary products, uh, we supply score clocks, uh, spectator seating, rubber flooring, the ice making supplies and equipment. So every year uh, when you put your ice in, we're gonna need to paint the ice. Well, we can certainly supply the parts and supplies uh, to, uh, to help your teams do that. Uh, as well, we do have uh, we do have access to some contractors that will work with us and can come to your facility and do the same. Uh, low emissivity ceilings, so energy uh, savings in 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 an ice rink are uh, quite important. So we do have a uh, low emissivity ceiling that we can install in the facility, as well as all the service and replacement parts for dashers, um, uh, uh, the, the acrylic and tempered glass, any uh, gates, wheels, uh, replacement seats, backs, pretty much anything you need for your rink, we can, uh, we can assist your teams with. So when we look at our dasher board designs, we've segmented our business into the uh, above the line and below, sorry, uh, the, the, the top uh, line and the bottom line. The top line are our aluminum systems. So these are manufactured uh, and welded from aluminum on the Cristoplex 6A series. And the Pro series is, is similar to it. However, it's manufactured from extruded aluminum that is then mechanically fastened. So much like you would have in your, uh, in your facilities with the windows, that's the same construction technique that we use in the Pro Series. So it's a very elegant design. We can supply an anodized aluminum, so it looks very, very nice. Uh, on our inline series, construction is similar to the Pro Series. It's a little bit of a uh, smaller footprint. It's a three inch uh, cross section, manufactured more for uh, ball hockey, uh, and, and, and some of that inline uh, skating that uh, had taken place uh, kind of in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Again, great for an outdoor installation or in some facilities that have a little bit lighter use uh, than, a, uh, than required by the Pro Series. We also have another portable system that we call our Gameplex 2.0. It's manufactured from a two inch frame Again, it, it's portable. We can assemble these, put them up, take them down. Uh, and, and it's a very cost effective system uh, that we, we're also selling into the residential market as well. When we look lower, uh, the lower line is our uh, steel offering. So we manufacture our BAP 6.0. It's, uh, it, it's a welded steel construction. Um, and manufactured with, uh, with opposing channels. So again, this is uh, available for either new or retrofit arenas. Uh, when we come into the uh, CAS 4500 and 8000 series, they're slightly different as far as the profiles. And the 8000 series has a wide base and a narrower upright. So the uh, CAS 8000 series tends to be the most cost-effective um, offering that we have uh, for, um, for kind of the lighter duty hockey. When you're looking at a facility, a multi-use facility, and again, this is for kind of the OHL, AHL, uh, ECHL type of a, a hockey segment, uh, we would uh, use the Cristoplex 6A. Now this incorporates all the required 
safety features. It is it is certified and and um, uh, how, how do we describe that, Reed? It, it it's the uh, like tested and approved, mandated uh, safety products at the NHL, and that we've engineered along the road and gone uh, to get fully tested by outside uh, engineering firms. Right, and, and so with that product, uh, we um, if if your if your facility is hosting. Uh, an NHL a preseason game or a craft hockey, those types of events typically need to be played on a, uh, on a safety compliant system. And the Cristoplex uh, 6A is uh, fully compliant. Uh, again, we have um, changeover features. So made from aluminum, uh, we can, uh, a, a, a team can go out and do a conversion and go from uh, ice mode to uh, to a concert mode and, and back again. And so these systems are designed uh, to be um, put together, removed, put back in place. We have a, a program or a, a feature called the conversion friendly base. And so when you take the components of off the, uh, the ice dam or the ice retainer, uh, you, they, they go right back into place. And so you get that repeatable uh, set up and tear down every time with your, with your conversion staff. Uh, the last uh, uh, product that I wanted to speak to here was our indoor uh, soccer series, the Infinity Series. Again, these have been uh, used in, in a lot of the multi-use uh, activity centers. And so it, it separates the play space from the spectator space. And again, keeps the, uh, keeps the uh, soccer balls on the field rather than in, uh, in the spectator stands. Other ancillary products, uh, again, on either a new build or a retrofit basis, uh, scoreboards, um, uh, goal lights. Again, we work with OES, Eversand, Actronics uh, as, uh, as a reseller for these, uh, these projects we get involved with. Uh, we do uh, also partner with uh, MRI. Uh, the MRI has uh, uh, done a project in, uh, in Oshawa for the uh, score clock cube that you see there. Plus, we also have uh, other LED panels that we can integrate right into the dasher boards themselves. And these are kind of those live LED panels to give you that substitution advertising for additional in-bowl revenue during games. Uh, we also get into uh, spectator and uh, uh, lobby uh, room seating, uh, seating and benching. Again, these are products uh, manufactured by Becker and by Cascadia, uh, so that you know they're 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 durable. They're manufactured uh, for that um, kind of uh, that that skating and ice rink environment. Very uh, very robust, and uh, and they're going to last uh, quite quite a long time. Retractable netting systems is uh, is an area that we've spent a lot of time uh, working in. Uh, we've done a number of uh, different offerings uh, in this area. We can do uh, kind of the, uh, the nylon netting, which, which tends to be very popular in the municipal space. Uh, but we do also have a certified Kevlar netting uh, for, the, uh, for the top tier hockey, AHL, NHL. Uh, typically, those nets are being replaced once every 44 games uh, based on use and, again, Player and spectator safety are of paramount importance for those product offerings. Again, we've got certification and testing that we've done, so you know when you're uh, when you're looking for these items, we've got the right offering to meet uh, to meet those requirements. Speaking to our uh, arena services business, uh, we have a full arena services and supplies catalog. It's available for download uh, from, our, uh, from our website. Inside there, you'll find uh, all kinds of arena and aftermarket parts and components, right from ice making uh, equipment, the ice paint itself, all the rubber flooring, pretty much everything we offer as a replacement part, you're gonna find inside this, uh, inside this catalog. We also manufacture uh, some skill development aids. 
So, uh, you know, learning to skate, uh, those types of things are uh, available for, uh, for purchase. When we look at some of the safety features, uh, I, I think uh, one, of the, one of the things I wanted to kind of get out into the market and, and communicate to this group in particular is the padded terminations that you'll find at the end of the player's box and the rest of the shielding have traditionally just had a padded corner. Uh, uh, many, many years ago in 2011, if you recall uh, the, the Chara Pacioretty hit, uh, it, it, it really, um, it was a problem that, that needed a solution and that really brought this to the forefront. And so Athletica along with the league has developed this curved acrylic termination on the, on, the, on the NHL side, it's spring loaded. And what that does is if there is a collision, it's more of a glancing blow rather than uh, the, the immediate stop as you saw with, uh, with Pacioretty there. So this is the state of the art. If we are going to uh, recommend any safety feature, this is really where, uh, where we need to, uh, to focus your attention. Um, both NHL and AHL standard and approved uh, certified designs, and tip typically the uh, five foot or the uh, four and a half to uh, five foot glass, right up to the uh, uh, six foot acrylic, is, is is the standard that we'll see. For the rest of the arena, uh, of course, uh, as folks are coming from kind of those, uh, those areas where they're lacing up their skates, we've got the rubber flooring that can follow you right through. Again, we supply a vulcanized uh, rubber floor product. This tends to work the best in an indoor ice rink. Uh, and, you know, I, like to, I, I like to tell folks that uh, an ice arena is one of the most um, vigorous and hostile environments you'll ever see from a flooring perspective. You've got the freeze thaw cycle. You've got uh, you, you've got people that are uh, not going to uh, treat it um, with uh, kind of the the most respect. You're, you're going to see people kind of spitting on it and, and and rinsing their mouth and spitting their water. So you need a good product that is impervious to water and is going to uh, maintain its life through that freeze thaw cycle. Again, very good on um, shock absorption. Uh, we sell uh, both the uh, the 10 and the 12 millimeter tiles. And again, working with uh, with our, our partner, Northwest Rubber, we've put you know tens of thousands of square feet of this product uh, into the market. Something that's a little more prevalent in the US uh, here, here in uh, Ontario and in Canada in general, uh, I think the first thing that you get is a new pair of shoes and then a new pair of skates. Uh, in the US market, they tend to have a lot more of a uh, rental skate need. Uh, so we are able to supply those as well as all the equipment to set up kind of that, that, that rental area. Uh, our skate rack storage system is uh, the best in the market. It's very neat, elegant, clean. Um, it allows you, it allows the uh, operator to, uh, you know, search and find appropriate sizes very, very quickly. Along with the rental skates in the, in the back room, we do also, um, for those that have kind of the on-site pro shops, uh, we do represent uh, Blackstone. Uh, we are also uh, able to get some of the other kind of smaller niche uh, manufacturers like Wusota and, uh, and, and some of the other uh, uh, ProSharp is another example of, of a device that uh, uh, we've seen out into the market. Again, these are very specialized machines uh, and, and we can help you source the right one for, uh, for your facility. Every year, uh, the, the ice needs to be put in and, and painted. And so we are a, a jet ice uh, distributor, as well as offering our own uh, ice product, Luminice. Again, this is uh, only available through Athletica, Becker and Cascadia. Um, again, variety of colors, as well as in, uh, in ice logos. These are pre-printed pre logos uh, that get laid in and then frozen in. 
So again, we can we can work with your teams and supply all of those components. Spectator shielding. This is uh, this is a an area that we've spent a lot of time uh, investing in some research and development, finding the right balance between flexibility and rigidity. So we, the the component needs to be flexible enough to deflect on impact, and so we've selected uh, a a. a uh, an acrylic that's around five eighths of an inch nominal thickness, and that has just enough deflection so that a uh, a two hundred uh, pound player will will you know rather than you know coming into a a brick wall and and bouncing back with a uh, concussion, it's a lot more forgiving and an en energy absorbing. It'll also resist those those you know hundred mile an hour slap shots from a, a, an elite player. Uh, in, in lower levels of hockey, we can get away with a, a thinner acrylic. Uh, we, do have, uh, we do have a 14 millimeter, uh, it's around that uh, just over half an inch uh, thick acrylic. So if you're talking your, your 12 and 14 year old uh, un, under 14s, they, they're typically not gonna have enough power behind them uh, to break. However, as they develop those skills, you know they very very quickly uh, get into the uh, into the higher levels. So we also we also have a full line of uh, of tempered glass product. Uh, we stock uh, a lot of the um, a lot of the standards are available out of our warehouse, whether that be here in Waterloo uh, or out of our stocking warehouse in in Vancouver. Uh, at local specials we can get uh, rather quickly. Uh, the, there's a cost premium to some of those, but if we do have, uh, if we do have some time, we can get these offshored, and again, pass that savings on to you and your teams as we as we carry that inventory for you. So, with the advanced acrylics, plastics, and polycarbonates, we do offer a full uh, range of uh, cleaning supplies and product uh, or cleaning supplies and tools. Uh, it's just so that you can keep those in, in uh, a very, very um, top condition. Uh, the the, the high-end arenas, certainly spectator clarity and making sure that we don't supply a product that is wavy. Uh, so we have very, very high visibility standards uh, to, the, to the acrylics that we, uh, that we offer. Um, so when we go to clean those, we want to make sure that there's no chemical interaction between the solvents and uh, and the acrylics, so the clear D polish and the and, and the uh, and the soaps that we uh, stock and that we sell have all been tested for compatibility. Uh, we uh, we can uh, have our uh, technicians come to your facility and and do some training on how to use these products. Again, the. Um, the, the, the speed of the polisher that we use has been specifically calibrated to not generate as much heat. We've seen some folks in the past just put a big buffing wheel on an angle grinder and it just generates, it generates far too much heat. So ours has been specifically developed and tested and tuned uh, to work with the, uh, the products that we offer. As we look at, at the kind of the post COVID return to play, uh, return to practice, uh, there's been a number of, uh, of product developments we've come up with uh, over the last uh, kind of six months. And one of them being organizing the player box area and creating water bottle holders that have unique discrete locations. Uh, again, you, I think you're gonna find that the shared water bottle is going to be a thing of the past and that's going to uh, that's going to last well beyond COVID. And so these are all custom manufactured. They're fit uh, to each of your locations. They can uh, be along the main, uh, the main area or even a custom fit into doors. This is mandated at the uh, National Hockey League level, the AHL, ECHL, Big Ten, uh, NCAA, et cetera. So we're, we're seeing this being adopted through the industry as a, a proactive COVID measure. Again, uh, uh, we've been getting a lot of inquiries uh, on the retractable players' tunnels. 
uh, to keep uh, to keep the players and the spectators separated. This uh, this allows the player to pass from the clean zone in the um, change room area through the spectator zone again onto the uh, onto the ice itself. They're custom manufactured and and fit to each of your locations for both length, width, and and sometimes we can get the uh, the, the height uh, customized as well. Okay. Uh, a couple other uh, new product offerings is with um, with the enhanced cleaning requirements through COVID, uh, we've uh, we've worked with a, a business in the Northeast U.S. called Red, Red Barn Healthcare. Uh, the two products that we are uh, promoting with them is the Nuva Wave. So this is an a UVC. So an ultraviolet light wand that does uh, disinfection, less than a second, you, you run the wand across the, uh, the touch surface and it will disinfect up to 99.9% .9 of uh, all germs and patho pathogens. It has been tested and found to be effective uh, in, in killing the SARS-CoV-2, uh, the virus that causes COVID-19. So again, a very, a very interesting product was originally uh, developed uh, five, six years ago, and it's been used in the avionics disinfection. And so it's come from the aerospace industry and we're finding it's coming down, down market into uh, more of these public spaces. Again, so if, you're, if your staffs are required to go in and to clean uh, on, a, on a much more vigorous and regular basis, this uh, this technology gets away from those chemicals that uh, that are used and tends to be a little more uh, friendly from a uh, uh, you know an environmental and personal perspective. Again, being a UV light, it has a a very narrow um, focal length, and so you know you can't give yourself a sunburn if you hold it like a hair dryer. But certainly, you don't want to. Uh, you need to be cautious and careful. Uh, when you use the device. And again, this comes with a full um, PPE system, uh, visors uh, and uh, recommendations on, you know, wearing long sleeves, et cetera. So all, all the product uh, that you need comes in the, uh, in the kit. The other component that we've, uh, that we've actually uh, used and tested in our offices is the Aura air filtration system. And so when you have a small environment like a, uh, like a player change room, uh, this is a perfect uh, little device. It, it's portable. Uh, you can take it and plug it in and it will, uh, it, it, it's got these four stage filtration system. Uh, again, uh, the pre-filter, the main filter, and it has a UVC uh, LED disinfection as well. So, the, the, uh, this product, um, as I say, it's great for those uh, three to 4,000 square foot rooms. Um, it, it, it's cost effective enough to buy and just install. Uh, some of these other UVC disinfecting machines are up in the uh, tens of thousands of dollars and take a, a number of time plus uh, have, uh, have, have shadow implications. So between the the hand unit and the Aura Air, we're able to kind of offer that same level of protection at a much, much lower cost. So, you know, from a high level perspective, uh, the, the, the Dasher boards are, are where we started. The Arena Services were the next component. And as I say, the, the safety through innovation being our brand promise, looking at ways of helping your facilities become COVID compliant, uh, keeping our spectators, keeping our players, keeping your operations staff, everybody, everybody has a, a stake in the game. And so that's really what uh, the Athletica focus has been. Our uh, uh, director of sales, Reed Hart. Uh, Reed, maybe if you just uh, take a few minutes and kind of introduce yourself, and uh, I guess we can open up uh, for questions right after that. Sure. Um, some of you may recognize my name. I've been in the industry for about 14 years now. Started here with uh, uh, sports systems in uh, Waterloo, Ontario. So we've seen a lot of changes over the uh, 
the last, uh, well, 13, 14 years, but especially our, over the last five years, uh, a lot of uh, really excellent and exciting changes. The one thing, um, you know, that I always like to say is that some I talked about a, a few years back with, with, the, uh, with the Athletica businesses, a lot of people know the Athletica name and they always think of Athletica as, oh, it, oh Athletica, yeah, they do the dashboards because, you know, they maybe have a dashboard system from 20, 30 years ago that was Crystal Plex or Athletica. Well, as you see from the presentation, and one of the things that we've really improved upon over the last five, six years is our aftermarket products and our catalog offering. So we do so much more than just the dashboard system. I just want, you know, just make sure you're aware of that because a lot of times you might get, we might get overlooked or you might not think to look to Athletica for those types of things. Rubber flooring, screws, poly, piece of glass, cleaning products, whatever it might be. Um, and even something that maybe is in our catalog is certainly something that we can source and, and offer to you because we, we deal with so much stuff within the arena and the uh, recreation industry. So just important to, I just want to stress that point and uh, hopefully uh, there's a few questions for us. All right, thanks Andrew and Reed for that. Uh, just before we get started with the Q&A, just to remind everybody that uh, we do have one more uh, webinar booked in this kind of series. Uh, we'll be taking a break for the summer, um, but if you're interested in waterworks supplies, uh, we'll be hosting that webinar on May 19th. You can find information for that on our website on the events page. All right, and then off to you, Tim, for the Q&A. Sounds good. Uh, if everybody could look into the chat room, if you have any questions, just write it down in the chat room there and we'll be happy to ask them. Um, I think we have one question right now to start off. So uh, either Andrew or Reed, I'll, I'll read it out for you. Is Sports Systems the same company as a, as a Athletica? I think you touched on this earlier. Yep, I uh, just, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of bring that, uh, bring that together. Yes, Athletica uh, has, uh, has a very, very long history and Athletica and Sports Systems uh, came together in 2009 to become Athletica Sports Systems. So we are uh, indeed the same uh, the same business. You know, I learned a lot in this uh, in this webinar because uh, you think got me excited about my backyard hockey rink, but then you started talking about the COVID and and all the, the items that you have to help with those needs. And you're absolutely right, Reed. It, it's, it's not just geared to, to the sporting arena. You can have the, all these different products that are available to the members. And it's, it's quite exciting to be able to have that security in the products that you have available. Um, I did have a question myself, actually. You know, you the, the plexiglasses and things. Um, I know I've been asked this in the past from other members. Would would you be um, able to make bespoke sized uh, dividers for um, say front, front of the house, uh, reception desk and things? Uh, just because we've been seeing this in the last year and a half with dividers being made. Is that something that uh, Athletica would work on? Sure, Reed, do you wanna handle that one? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you when you look at the product offering that we have, you know, you always think, okay, well, acrylic or plexiglass for the dashboard system, which is a thicker, offering but we do all kinds of different types of dashboard systems a lot of them are pleasure rinks that are just for public skating or temporary seasonal rinks that are set up throughout north america or the us or even overseas and they they'll use different types of product different facing products anywhere from quarter inch thick um so much thinner gauge uh, polycarbonate or lexan materials 